Hi, I'm Brian from TheEpicenter.com. Today we're going to take a look at a new stove. This is called the Emberlit stove and it's available in stainless steel and there's also a really lightweight titanium version. Now this is what it looks like all assembled. Uh, one of the neat things about this stove is you can feed fuel in through the side so you don't have to, if you have long sticks you don't have to break them up and feed them right down the center. You can put those in the side and as they burn just uh, continue to push them in. So like I said it does take a little bit of effort to put it together. What I decided to do was go ahead and have Janet assemble this and I also had Eric assemble it and we're going to compare the assembly time. Now Eric was in the other room when Janet assembled hers and so he didn't have any extra hints and we're going to go ahead and roll that footage now and see how long it takes to set up the new Emberlit stove. My glasses. Would you like to borrow my new glasses? Um, no, these are ugly. These are gross. Those are gross. Okay, what are we doing, Janet? Well, according to Brian, uh, this is not a girl project, so I am... Um, what do you have there? You have a new stove that well, we're looking at. Look I have a new stove. Okay, and Parts. you are going to try to put that together. And I said that that, is, that stove is kind of a guy stove. It kind of requires some mechanical um, abilities. So you have your glasses on so you can read the instructions. Yeah, it says three side panels. Okay. okay. And then the base plate. The base plate. So I guess what I want to do is figure out. All right. Connect one side. What the difference is panel. between this one and the others. Uh -oh, did I do something backwards? Are you saying that I one is not uh -oh. like the others? Well, they, <laughs> yeah, because this has this has no. a little imprint Let's on see. it. These do not. Is oh, all. No, just turn this around. Okay. No, what did I do? So what do the instructions? I don't know. Tell you? No crap. Connect once. Okay, something doesn't look right here. Oh, you gonna have to back pedal. You sure? I think so. You sure? No, no, I just gotta get it lined up right. Okay, wait, that's that looks right. That goes in there, and this should come out okay, here. Okay, you know, it's very, very, Why is very not hooking up right? disconcerting having a camera. Right the in your face. What do the instructions say? I feel say? like I'm, you know, Mr. in a Eric, test here or something. three side panels. Well, you are. Which actually, we're testing I that have. Uh, stove. Insert base plate. And what you think will happen if you have misplaced the instructions. Which I've done. But now, connect one side. Okay, one so side yeah, this, this, and panel. this. And then this is telling me I'm doing something wrong. Connect here. one this side look of like this. Okay, here we go. We'll connect one side. It just fell apart on me. Okay, then what does it say? What's the next step? Gently feed channel to connect the remaining. Okay, so that's the trick to well, this. I okay. think so. So okay, let's get these. And then these are just optional. These here. aren't even required. These Did are optional. Did Janet beat me already? Yes. Gee, when it Christmas. Oh, I didn't get it right here. Okay, so now. There, that feels better. Is that? Connect is, did one I do something side. wrong? No, that looks good. Put put those and optional gently pieces on board. To connect. Okay, so that's how you get this to stay together. I. See. Okay, now we got a, a unit. Insert crossbars. What is the diagram? So it says to like put this. them in, in here, but. And. It says that they go in here. Like 
this. So I guess there. that's. Okay, don't tell her that, that she did the other side. Right? <laughs> <Why not? laughs> okay. No, th th after doing it the first time, that'll be easy <laughs> the next time. That, that last little <laughs> torquing over part, that was tricky. All right, that's the new Emberlit stove. Now, a couple of things in, for comparison. This is the uh, Firebox stove, and everybody knows I'm a big fan of this. It sets up really quickly. It's stainless steel as well, but it weighs 2.2 pounds. Now, the Emberlit stainless steel weighs half of this, and the titanium version weighs a quarter of this weight. Um, there is a price difference as well. This is a, about $60. This in stainless steel is about 40 and the titanium version, it's really, really light, but it's really expensive. It's like $80. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to leave it up to our YouTube channel subscribers as to whether or not we're going to offer this new stove. Uh, it certainly has merit. Um, it is compact. It is very light, especially the titanium one. Um, it is neat that you can feed from the side. Um, but it does take a little fussing around to put it together and certainly the first time you do it uh, after that and after you know that one little trick as you saw in the video it goes together pretty quickly so anyway that's it now if you'd like us to offer this uh, please put some comments in the comment section and that's all for the epicenter.com I'm epicenter Brian signing out